Here's one pipe already pulling water out of the creek. So we're going to put the dam right here. When I built the flume, I had to move the creek loop a little bit. And so I used this black plastic and some blocks. So I'm going to try and get this to uh, go back this way now to make it easier to put our dam in. I believe I'm going to move up here just a little bit and see if I can get some black plastic to lay down pretty good. And I'm thinking I'll just put a block or two on top of it to weight it down. Well, I have both pipes uh, pulling water out of the creek. So now I'm just using a shovel, or I guess it's a spade if you want to get technical. Scooping up some of the silt and plopping it down along this plastic in hopes of making a little channel here to uh, divert the water. It looks like this is going to be a two-part because uh, whenever I got this diverted over here, for the most part, I found a hole that all the water is going down right there. So I'm going to have to um, re-divert this and then fill that up, probably up a good ways here, maybe like in there. So that the water uh, has to go on the concrete to get into the flume. Well, I believe that's dry enough. So I'm going to make um, the concrete go right there to there. So I've brought this wheelbarrow down here with some Portland. And we're going to uh, mix that and hopefully get a nice little ramp here. I was uh, planning on using this to make the dam, but just have to come back out here later and finish that part up. All right, got this concrete mixed up here. Now I'm just gonna start plopping it in. Well, just plopped out all of that concrete. Now I'm gonna see if I can shape this stuff a little. Fill up that hole that was being so annoying. There's my little ramp that fills up those holes that were sucking water down. So, that should be dry in the next day or so. And then I'll come back and make the dam over here. Well, two days has passed now. The concrete we put down has cured. And I've got two garden hoses in the creek pulling the slack that this big pipe is not pulling. So, um, where I'm standing is pretty dry. So now it's time to put these damn blocks in. Let's get started. I'm just gonna start plopping this stuff down here. Huh. It's very similar to the other side we did. All right, now, I gotta take a block and set it down here. I think I'll go ahead and plop a couple other ones, a couple more down.
I may not win any awards for civil engineering, but at least it'll keep water out and divert it where we want it to go. Okay, thinking one more up here. All right, now I'm just gonna start filling in the gaps with more concrete. Just finished up the uh, concrete here on both sides. Yeah. So, nothing real fancy, just enough to hold those blocks in place. And if the water gets up high enough over that spot, I'll just add one more block. All right, I'll come back in two days. We'll pull this pipe out of the creek and we will watch the flume fill up. So it's rained, I don't know, two inches today. And I want to show you what the flume looks like that we've been working on. So here is where the old dam is. It's quite a lot of water in here. Listen to that waterfall. So let's walk up the flume and see what it looks like. <laughs> A nice flow. Almost jumping the banks. If all the water in the creek were in there, it would definitely be jumping a couple spots here. I may have to uh, do some more work on the little dam here. There's a lot of water is getting over and around and under. And then I have a new idea for what the uh, cutoff is going to look like here, which I'll uh, get to later, but it's looking nice. Well, the flood is over, and it's time to assess the damage here. So, this part right here works well. The water flows over that and uh, back into the creek. You can see the flume is pulling water well. Um, now over here, what I need to do is wait for the water to drop down again. And I'm going to put a second layer of blocks up here and then one more over here. And so uh, then if I can get this dry down here, I'm going to just pour a lot of concrete on this side and uh, Maybe, Ooh, acorn's fun. Put some more on this side as well, just to keep all this from coming up under the, the dam here. But uh, it, it wound up being seven and a half inches of rain in one day. But uh, fun stuff. I also came up with a new idea for the cutoff of the, um, up here, the gate. I'm going to cut one piece of rubber all the way across, no holes in it. When I want to cut off the dam, or the flume, I open this piece, move the flap over here, and put it in here. So that way, it just kind of moves the whole flume that way. Awkward video. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Uh, it's kind of nice to see what the flume looks like whenever it's really full.
Um, I'm going to be making a lot of changes to uh, the dam, I think, and that uh, cutoff valve. <laughs> anyway, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Move on to the side pieces. Take another one of your eight foot decking boards and match that up here.